Hey friendo, Steve here. Welcome back to Wrestle Juice. So WrestleMania is right around the corner. And on today's episode of Wrestle Juice, we're going to take a look at the WWE Championships on the line and rank which ones are in danger of changing hands at the show of shows. And um, to do so, I'm going to use this handy little uh, crinkled up piece of paper with uh, most likely a nope. As you can tell, most likely to change hands is going to be up here. And then nope, the ones that are nope are going to be closer to there. We're going to rank them in order. It's sort of like a different way of doing predictions. So I did that video the other day, and then I could just put a spin on that kind of stuff and just do it here. It's just maximizing the, the you know the content while basically saying the same thing. All right, we're going to go ahead and get take a look here. Look at this. Titles. Boom. There. Right there. Got all the titles stacked up like a, like a stack of hotcakes right here. And we're going to go one by one and determine which ones are likely to, to, to go and then which ones are likely to stay where they're at. So first up, of course, Logan Paul is taking on uh, Randy Orton and Kevin Owens. And as is sort of the case, usually these days for multi-man matches like this where the title's not vacated, usually the other people in the match are there just to cancel each other out. So the guy with the title can walk away because whoever beats Logan Paul, while it's not going to be like a massive accomplishment, I think it's going to be kind of a more involved story than just sort of getting on the bad side of Randy Orton and Kevin Owens. I kind of feel like it'll probably end up being a solo match with Kevin Owens if he's the guy to take that U.S. title off of uh, Logan Paul. But I kind of sort of suspect that's not going to be the case. Anyways, it's definitely not going to happen at WrestleMania. So that one's going to be on the low side of nope, but not out of the possibility. See that the space between the title and nope, that's where there's uh, maybe, maybe it can happen there. Anyways, we'll move on to the women's championship. Io Sky holds on to the WWE women's title. Of course, she's going to be defending it against Bailey. I kind of feel like with all the odds being stacked against Bailey, it means Bailey's going to win. But there are two things getting in the way. Number one, Naomi is helping out Bailey, and Bianca Belair will almost certainly help Bailey, which could mean that damage controls, sort of, you know, strength in numbers is going to be mitigated. For Bailey, so it's not like Bailey is really facing super steep odds now that she has people on her side, which could mean that the road is clear for EO Sky to retain the championship. And the other thing is, Bailey is a fairly selfless wrestler. I know she just turned face, so you think this title is probably going to change hands, but also I could see Bailey the person being willing and maybe even wanting to put over EO Sky for a longer title reign. So I'm going to put this kind of in the same space as Logan Paul, but towards the most likely. So like there's the same amount of room between most likely in this title. Uh, next up, women's tag team championships. I don't even know if this is even going to be on the line. They could easily do a six-woman tag match pitting uh, damage control, Dakota Kai and the Kabuki Warriors against, uh, what's it, uh, Bianca Belair, Naomi, and maybe like a Jade Cargill. She's had a run in with damage control backstage. She might need to be involved in a multi person match in order to sort of cover maybe her lack of experience in the ring if she's not coming along as quickly, maybe as would be necessary for a singles match. It seems obvious she's not going to have a singles match, but if she's involved in any match, at WrestleMania, putting her in a match with a shit ton of veterans probably is not the worst move in the world. So I have no idea if these titles are even going to be on the line. So that sort of means it's right there in the middle. Don't know 50 50. If EO loses her title, maybe Kabuki Warriors keep. I'll, I'll do this. It's going to be on the nope end of the scale. Like it's right underneath the 50 50 mark. The 50 50 mark is like right here right under the women's championship where this fold is in this crinkled up piece of charcoal paper, apparently. Next, we got the women's world heavyweight championship. Rhea Ripley is defending this title against Becky Lynch. In my opinion, and I know some of you disagree with this, but in my opinion, this is a big old nope. This is as nope as you can get. Rhea Ripley is basically going to be a world beater until she comes across somebody who's sort of on her level, which at this point might just be Bianca Belair. I don't know who they're going to have take this title off Rhea Ripley. It could be, it could be a cash-in 
from somebody after money in the bank. If Rhea Ripley goes through like a really, really rough match with somebody, which even that seems unlikely these days because she just kills everybody. But so, yeah, any way you cut it, this is a big old no right now. Becky Lynch is not taking that title off of Rhea Ripley. And there's no room between. This is the most nope there is. Let's talk about the Intercontinental Championship, Gunta. So, Gunther's defending against Sami Zayn. So, that means, I got to lessen the, there we go. We're going to sort of connect these things like this. So, that means, uh, we're Intercontinental Championship. Here's this guy right here. I don't think Gunther's going to lose this. Sami Zayn talks a big game about wanting to do something historical. Historic? Historical? Historic. And uh, and not being a content, not being a, an underdog, being a contender that fights like an underdog. He is a contender now, but I feel like Gunther is going to beat Sami Zayn for this Intercontinental Champion I, Championship. I thought for a second, I thought we might be looking at Kevin Owens versus Logan Paul in a blow-off match, and Sami Zayn versus Gunther. In which case, both those best friends would walk out with mid-card titles. Now, especially given that Kevin Owens is probably not going to walk out with that U.S. title, kind of feel like Sami Zayn's not going to walk out with this Intercontinental Championship. So, where are we going to put this? We are going to put it... Let's see here. Oh, we'll put it... I like to keep these things interlinked because we're, we're ranking these. Most of the, Yeah, I'll put it a... Ooh, I'll put it... Is it going to change hands? Yeah, no, it's going to, it's, it's less likely than the women's tag titles to change hands. And yet more likely than the United States championship. Yeah. I'm trying to wrap the, 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 <laughs> the concept of my own video around my head. Here we go. World heavyweight championship, Seth Rollins. <laughs> yeah. I think Seth is probably going to lose this thing to Drew McIntyre. The rock has been promising that he is going to make that title disappear. And I feel like The Rock, I think Seth Rollins is going to have a bad WrestleMania. I think he's going to lose night one. I think he's going to lose night two. So, and, and ha here's the thing. He's doing it all for Cody. He's doing it all for Cody. And that's going to reignite uh, uh, something between Seth Rollins and Cody Rhodes. That's what I think. I think that might be the case. Or in any event, it's going to show Cody Rhodes that, hey, if you're going to be champion, you're going to have a lot of problems. Uh, the world uh, tag titles. So I made this purple because, of course, red and blue make purple. And I didn't want to have like just a batch of titles for the tag titles up here. So I made this purple. This represents all. Now, I've heard a lot of conversation about one tag team's going to pull down the raw ones. One team's going to pull down SmackDown ones. I don't know if that's how they're going to allow this match to take place. Is that going to be a rule? That if one team pulls down the red straps and the other team pulls down blue straps, they're going to be splitting the titles. That other going to split the titles. I think it's possible. I think it's a possibility. I think that there's a lot of people in this match, so you can't discount the possibility that this is going to go away. I think it's probably more likely that this is going to go out of the hands of Judgment Day than not maybe like the awesome truth. I could see Judgment Day on Raw the next night being pissed off because they didn't really lose those titles and then they get a rematch and they probably lose that. So yeah, we'll put that above the the women's tag titles. Uh, and then what is this? EO Sky most likely. Um, EO losing it likely. Yeah. Okay. Is this going to be above or below EO? A lot of people in this match feel like the awesome trip, man, I don't know. Triple, Triple H also really loves Judgment Day. So I'll put it, I'll put it, I'm actually going to put, man, now that I think about it, I might put this, oh man, I don't know. Mm, boy, this is a tough one actually. All right, hold on, I got to get this thing out of the way. Get out of there, Undisputed Championship. Here, Roman's going to lose. <laughs> most likely, Roman, most very likely, Roman Reigns is going to lose that title. So let's take a look at the rest of these here. Uh, okay, so all the titles are on the board here. Let's look. The U.S. Championship is not going anywhere. I don't believe that for a second. The Intercontinental Championship, I think, has a slightly better chance than the United States Championship. Um, women's Tag Title. Naomi might be in that match to eat the pin. But then Damage Control. I think Damage Control is going to do well at WrestleMania. I think, man... So we'll do this. Well, I'm going to I'm going to link. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to link the women's title to the tag titles cuz I kind of feel like if EO wins tag then the Kabuki Warriors are going to win if the titles are even on the line. 
And then let's see here the to the men's the men the the tag the men's tag titles. Judgment Day has them. I feel like Judgment Day is going to lose them. But also the problem is there are no team like maybe DIY. Maybe DIY. Um, Because here's the thing. Also, if the dude number one. Well, OK, there's a couple things to consider. The dudes have other dudes to help them. JD and Dom. But they're also kind of hapless. So I don't know. That's gonna be, they, what they should do is put JD and Dom into the match. That's what they should do. And then have JD and oh, they should have JD and Dom win them. Oh my God! In any event, I do kind of feel, man, it's either this this tag title or it's the women. Yeah, I think this is right. I think this is right. Uh, let's see here. World Heavyweight Championship definitely is going to be up here, on par with the Roman title. Here's the undisputed one. So yeah, there we go. Rhea's keeping it. Roman's losing it. Seth is losing it. Logan Paul is keeping it. Gunther's probably keeping it. Judgment Day is probably losing it. EO and, and Damage and Control. That's the big kind of toss up right there. I don't know, man. I feel like Bailey has to win, but at the same time, EO might need that win more than Bailey does. So I don't know, man. They might save EO losing to Bailey at uh, what's it called? The Backlash, maybe. Maybe they'll do it in, in France, in Lyon, France. Anyways, yeah, so there you go. What do you guys think? Let me know your rankings from one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight titles. From one to eight, let me know what your order of ranking is from most likely being one to least likely being. You're making a lot of noise over there. Gypsy, look, I got you. <laughs> okay, you can lay down.